name is Courtney Griffith and I'm an off-site trainer with Golden Quest. Today I am here with Penny OS8. She's an 11 week old comfort retriever and this is her third and final week of training. And in today's video we're going to be going over each of the commands she knows as well as any hand signs that go along with those commands. So we're going to start with sit. And for sit, you're just going to hold your palm up and move it this way. Down is the same thing, set palm down, down, good. For stand, you make a fist, stand, good. Sit. And then, look doesn't necessarily have a hand sign, but I do put my fingers out like this. That way I can tell whether she's looking at me or she's looking at my hands. So if I have my hands out, look. And she's still making eye contact with me. I know that she knows that she's supposed to look at me. For touch, you just hold out the <laughs> back of your hand. Touch, touch, touch. She's a little frisky this morning. We're gonna try that again. And she's just supposed to touch her nose to the back of my hand. And when she does, I click and give her a treat. Good. Now for spin, I just move my hand in a circle and she follows it. Spin. Good. And for shake, you just hold your hand out. And she knows to put her paw in your hand. Good. Now her rollover command isn't um, completely finished. I still keep food in my hand when I do this. But you first you put her into a down. And then you're going to take your hand like this and you're just going to turn it. And she follows your hand. Down. just like that. And I'll show you more in detail during our exit lesson because I know that's probably a little bit difficult to see really well from the camera. But she does a great job. Um, and the biggest secret with the hand motion for rollover is just in the wrist and I'll help you with that when I see you Friday. Now for recall, it's just really simple. You just back away from her and call her Penny. Come. And I do expect her to sit when she gets to me. And if for some reason she's being a little reluctant, you might have to get really peppy and excited. Come. Sometimes she gets a little excited. platform bed. You really don't even have to wave your arm over it, but typically I wave my arm over it and tell her to go to bed. Um, for the most part, if I just walk towards bed, she assumes that's what I'm about to ask for. <laughs> and I hold the expectation that she automatically lays down when she gets on the bed before I click and give her a treat. And for stay, you just hold your hand up like a stop sign. Stay. I do hesitate for a second when I come back to the bed to make sure she's not going to pop up before I've released her. Okay. And to release her, you just pat her on the side and tell her okay. And she also has been working on, come here, sit, stay. Her 
her sit stay and her down stay on the floor as well. Down. Stay. Where she is still really young, I'm not asking her to hold that stay for very long, but as she gets older, you can gradually increase how long you expect her to hold that. And for purposes of the video, I'm not going to hold this stay too long. Um, now, this is one I haven't shown yet. <laughs> She's very happy this morning. I've been working on teaching her to leave it. And this is a bowl of food. Calm down. Leave it. Uh-uh. And if she makes a mistake and goes for it, now this is new, we've only been working on it for a couple days. If she makes a mistake and goes for it, just tell her, uh-uh, and that'll kind of remind her that she's not supposed to actually go for it. Leave it. Good girl, there we go. She had to think about it for a second, but ultimately she made the correct decision. Leave it. Good girl. Even though this is still relatively new, she's doing great with it. Um, we haven't worked a whole lot on expanding it to other things. I've mostly just been teaching her the concept of the word. But it should be relatively easy to generalize to other items as well. Now we've moved outside to do her finish and her heel. Now for finish, you just want to take a step back and then move her forward. She's doing a good job with automatically sitting when I stop. Come on. Finish. Good job, Penny. As you can see, she's doing great with finishing heel. And we'll go into more details about all of her commands during our exit lesson. Overall, I'm extremely happy with how well she's done. She has been one of my favorite puppies to work with. She's absolutely adorable and so fun and truly gives her her best effort in every session. I'm really going to miss her, and I'll see you.